Gracias, gracias. So we're doing a roving mate talk. One thing you got to do when you come to Rome is don't buy the uh, the bottled water. This is actually coming from the mountain. Free water. So I'm going to break my mate talk rhythm and I'm going to do multiple cuts. Yesterday we were scouting where would be a great place to do a mate talk. Rome is too beautiful. So we're going to do a mate talk all across Rome. I also know this is going to be long. I'm going to put chapter markers of all the different things we're going to talk about. There's a, it's been a huge tour throughout Rome. From um, we, We've been here since the start of the month. It's uh, now into April and it's been massive. So I wanted to do one last Mate talk before I left Italy and give you a bit of a, a sum up, talk about Exxons, etc. Now, one thing that I did do is I grabbed, I knew that I was going to have a lot of samples from Exxons. So if you would like, join in on the let me send you something. Here's how to do it. So if you hit the join button, the winner for this month, and I'm going to do it next week. Or I was going to do it today, but I really would want to open it up to as many people as possible. I've got some samples of new things that haven't been released yet. So the winner of, let me send you something, I'm going to put together a whole bunch of different samples. Normally I send out two to three. It's going to be a whole bunch. All right, so if you want to join and be a part of that, then do the join button. Let's move. All right, let's talk about Exxon's. I would need a three hour episode just to give you the coverage of the whole place. I have to go into detail to say that I did not even scratch the surface of how enormous this, this whole experience was. I do have new releases and I'm carrying this bag around because I'm gonna find a quieter spot. We'll talk about new releases that are super exciting. Obviously, I'm gonna go into more detail once I get back to the office, but I wanna show you some new stuff now. There is, so for those who have been following the channel, um, I did the Exxon's tour. Now this is something that I wanted to go into a little bit more detail about. These beautiful people were my guinea pigs. Have a look at these guys. They joined me on the tour. Now I knew that Exxon's was going to be just overwhelming. Just and even for someone who already knew some of the brands and the people and I was sort of curating it to, to walk in from the cold, it's too much. I mean, I'll go one more. For four days, now this is a big deal for me, I did not wear perfume. It gives you an idea of how much fragrance was in the air, just how many new brands were around. I really limited the amount of sprays that I put on my skin. So I did this fragrance tour with the intention of two things. One, could I actually do a good job in uh, touring people around? Could I keep them engaged? Uh, what were what was everybody going to be like? Were they, you know, were we going to connect and all that sort of stuff? I, I put in my post, on my Instagram post, that I was super nervous going into it. Maybe two seconds. As soon as I met everybody, hello, hello. Because in some of the cases, I hadn't met these people before. I mean, I knew Luke through comments, um, who's my French professor. But the both Roberto or uh, Harold, he wanted to be called Roberto during the tour. So both Roberto and Mercedes, I had never met them, so I didn't know what they were gonna be like. Beautiful, the whole experience was absolute, it was magic. I, even to the point where I told these guys not to put on any perfumes, and I was super bossy. I said to them, there are only certain things that I'm gonna get you to put on skin because I need you to experience them on your skin rather than just the card. The, just to see the, the, their expression, their, the, the feeling of, I mean, I, I get excited by perfume. To see that response from them as they lit up and smelt certain, it was the best, the best experience. This leads me to the France perfume experience. I want to tell you about this. We went to Paris and I want to tell you what we did. So, the France perfume experience. Similar to the Exxon's tour, it's really about one-on-one, -on -one, deep dive into all things, niche perfumery, but on a bigger scale. Six days or seven nights, six days, fully immersive. While we were in Paris, the, the purpose of Paris, well, other than enjoying Paris, was to do some exploring and find out where was some nice accommodation that fit in within all the areas we we're gonna be. Food, I mean, have a look at this, these uh, shots. So all this food, uh, we tested to make sure that it was at a quality that um, was gonna be good for everyone. Uh, dietary requirements, yes. So if, if anyone has dietary requirements, we also covered this off. 
The idea is that we want to make this very personable, uh, very one-on-one. -on -one. Kevin and I, the idea is for us to host you guys. So we, not that we're gonna, it was like the Exxon's tour. It was, we had a, an itinerary, or I had an itinerary, I moved people through, but it was also tempering with what was happening with the group. The same here, so we, uh, the, the, the purpose of going to Paris was really to explore all these different places that we we're gonna do together. Now, what does the tour include? It includes accommodation. So we're looking at some uh, four-star properties. I spoke to a few of them, and so the locations that we want to be in is, because obviously on picture everything looks pretty, but when you're in location, I want to make sure that there's not a <laughs> there's not a sex club next door or something like that. Uh, so we want to be in in good areas. Also, what's the vicinity like? What's the food around? Uh, what are the restaurants like? Like I mentioned. Now, there's only ten spots that we want to make available for the um, for this experience. Five have already sold, so five spots left. Kevin and I have agreed that even if we only have five, we are still going ahead. So those who have already jumped on in, the tour will go ahead on the 25th of September. If you are interested, we invite you to join us. It's going to be, um, as I said, if I again look back at the Exxon's tour that I did, it was such a cool experience to be with perfume lovers and enjoy the vibe together. All right, I got to tell you about something. So I mentioned Kevin. This is Kevin, for those who don't know. This is Lee, for those who don't know. This is Luke. This was on the tour. There's people all around us here. So, so Luke was on the uh, the Exxon's tour that we did together. Now, during the tour, as we got to know one another, I found out that Luke is a magician. He's actually a mentalist. So think, if you've seen the movie Nightmare Alley, that same sort of style. So he said to us, we said to him, do some magic, show us the, you know, show us a trick. And so he said to Lee and I, gave us some cards and he said, without telling me, I want you to write down the name of somebody that you know, but don't tell me who it is. Now, I'm going to say he planted this in our brain because I wrote Kevin and I wrote my bro. And then Lee wrote, I love Kevin. Is that right? Yeah, I love Kip. <laughs> With XX and hearts, which I thought was pretty cool. So then Luke started doing his thing. He goes, he looks at me, looks at Lee, and he says, I'm going to write down a name and I'm going to put it down. And he wrote down, and he grabbed that card and he put it on the table. He started asking us some, so before we even started, he already wrote down this name. He started to ask his questions, boom, bam, bing, and he says to me, I think I know who you got. And he flips it, and he says, don't show Lee. Is this the person? And I'm like, yeah, how'd you know? And I flipped my card and I said, boom. And then he looks at Lee and he says, now let me think, and he looks at me, and he looks at Lee, and he says, oh wow. He did this, he was, he's, a, he's a performer. Oh wow, you guys had the same name. He goes, turn around, you've got this also. And he showed this to Lee. Anyway, now he's a magic man. Sandra was so impressed. <laughs> Sandra's like, how did he do this? Well, he's a mentalist. He put it into our brain to write down Kevin. So Luke, well done, my friend. That was awesome. That was an awesome trick. It really was. We were in a cafe and I think we got a little bit like, oh my gosh, we all had like this, what the heck experience. So thanks, Luke, I appreciate that. Let me move on to new fragrances. I'm gonna show you what's in this magic bag. I've been carrying it, it's heavy. Uh, I'm gonna find a quiet spot. We're gonna talk about new fragrances. All right, excellence. So as I mentioned earlier, you need a three, epi a three hour episode to really talk about everything that was at Exxon's. I had to be really, really diligent and stay focused. I had four days, I was run off my feet. I would come back from Exxon's exhausted. It was, there was so much activity. Uh, I had a lot of awesome meetings. Uh, I discovered some new brands. Um, there are so a whole bunch of new fragrances here that I'd love to, to share with you guys. I'm not going to go into huge breakdowns other than these are all winners. Uh, I've, been, I've been wearing them, Sandra's been wearing them, and these just resonate like crazy. When I get back, I promise to do a much deeper uh, breakdown of these particular fragrances. But already to put it on your radar, 
uh, if you ha have a chance to go and spray and test, I'd strongly recommend each one of these. All right, let me begin. So I've got notes everywhere. One, actually, before I go any further, one that I didn't bring here, which I've spoken about a few times already, is Sonny. All right, so when I did the fragrance tour with the group, um, I, I, I was, like, I think I said it already, that I was super bossy with them. I said, don't put on any perfumes. Um, and I would then say, look, not, not boss, why well, yeah, I was bossy. Anyway, I, I'd, I'd recommend fragrances that they should put on skin. One of them was Sonny. Now, everyone did what I anticipated would happen, and that is that the, the, this fragrance is so just incredible. It, the, the evolution of it, the way it moves, opening the, into the, an hour later, into the full dry down, just everything spectacular. To the point, Luke sent me a photo the magician he sent me a photo saying that he had gone out looking for it and had actually bought it and included it in his collection so i'd recommend to you it's not in this thing here but i have mentioned to you sonny mel fashuni really ex in a very impressive fragrance all right let me begin with this one here framenti this is, has become sandra's favorite so this is the new one from boyce what i love about this and look, when I first smelt it, I, I just thought, another winner, this is going to be like a superstar fragrance. Um, as I mentioned, as I opened it, the, this fragrance has, it is a beast. This is beast mode um, when it comes to the way it projects, when it comes to its sillage, when it comes to its longevity. It opens up with this wonderful, sweet, uh, black current, but not, not over the top. So it's, don't, don't think it's, it, it's not over the top, but it does have a very pronounced, uh, fruit note, incredible floral heart, and that's the essence of this fragrance. It, it, what I think it does really well, it balances between gourmand and floral, because it does have vanilla and amber in the base. I think there's also benzoin. So it does have a slight vanilla vibe, but it's not a vanilla fragrance. It's not a gourmand fragrance. It's, it's a floral. Anyway, you need to experience it. Really impressive. Um, this has become, as I said, Sandra's favorite. Uh, there's a whole bunch of fragrances there and she's constantly choosing that one. Sandra pointed at me. What did you say? My producer. I was sorry. Yeah, I wear it too. It's true. I wear it too. This, this has been so easy, masculine, feminine. Uh, it, on me, it's interesting. That on me, I don't get the sweetness as much as I do on Sandra. On Sandra, uh, there's, a, but again, not vanilla. Anyway, it's not a review. I just want to put it out to you guys. Boyce 1920, I've been talking about these guys for a while. Wait till we've done some really exceptional uh, filming with all these different houses, and I'm looking forward to sharing to you Boyce 1920 and the things that we filmed together. But from Enti, new fragrance, really recommend it. I'm gonna put this next one out, which is, now this is, the brand is called La Arc. I feel that uh, this was one of those houses that flies really low under the radar. Um, I actually, uh, I'm gonna be doing a review on their earlier range. And I've, I think I mentioned earlier, uh, Evasion is one of those fragrances that I've sort of flagged earlier. This is the new one called Cyrus. The perfumer to all of these is Julien Rasquinet. I actually, because Rasqu Luke told me how to say it probably, Julien Rasquinet, Rasquinet, something like that. No, Sandra's saying no, <laughs> I'm gonna move on. I said it terribly, but you know who it is. I actually bumped into this man, and it was such an honor. Honestly, I um, look at my face. This was like photo number three. This is the best face that I had, because <laughs> up until I just had this like dopey. Um, I was a little bit fan struck, um, so it was very nice of Julien to to allow me to take a photo with him. But he's created. Uh, there, there's, they've got a pretty vast collection of Arc. He's created five. This is the sixth one in that collection, I'm pretty certain. Anyway, I've got five of the Julians. Um, during the tour, I stopped, we stopped at the Little Arc and I had everyone test out these. I'm so happy that everybody was ooing and eyeing on each one of these fragrances. This, the, the older La Arcs, or the ones that I own, have incredible, the volume in these fragrances are exceptional. They have beautiful long uh, longevity, beautiful staying power, dropping my foyer, don't break it please. Um, beautiful staying power, great projection, wonderful sillage. So a new one has an aromatic quality to it. Uh, when it opens, it goes into this woody place. It's really another one, pure winner, just pure, pure winner. So. Um, I'm going to be talking more about these guys, but check out the whole brand. La Arc, amazing. All right.
Boop, 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 boop. Let's move forward. Fuea, please. I got to talk about these guys. It makes me happy. I've had a, a number of people come up to me and say that they've come across the Fuea brand through my videos. And it makes me super happy. I think Fuea is another one of those brands, flies really low under the radar. Uh, they have an incredible collection. We did a meetup in the Fuea store and uh, it was exciting for me. I, I felt like the brand champion. I was walking people through, explaining how it all works to the point where even like the, the staff were deferring to me. They're like, no, no, you got this. You, you, you know what you're saying, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I do love Fuea. And this is the new one that just has been released. It's called Milonga Verde. Now, just to, uh, really quickly, a milonga is the, the tango. Um, so it's like a, where you, a milonga is where everybody is dancing the tango. What I love about the tango is that you follow the music. So it's very rhythmic and it's very spontaneous. You feel the music. You and your partner are just dancing. And this is what this fragrance does. There are three keynotes in here that I've never heard of. I'm going to put them here. And this, I don't, it's, it's one of those fragrances where when I first tested it, I'm like, whoa, pure magic, absolutely glorious. I've been wearing this consistently. I'm wearing it today. I am in love. I'll do a, a much deeper review on this when I get back. But Milonga Verde, people look out for this. This is really in Fuea, that awesome, awesome fragrance house, beautiful collection. Allora. Before I left, I did a, a quick review or a quick sort of, Kevin and I, we did a sort of a smell and, and uh, experience. New house. Now, if you look at right now on Fragrantica, um, they did a bit of a, a um, like a, an article and David, the perfumer for this house is actually on there and he was marked as uh, new and exciting brands coming out. So I'm glad that I actually flagged Toscovat. Uh, David was kind enough to send me a sample before I came to Exxon's. At Exxon's, I only had a very brief moment to catch up with this awesome man. Um, these are two new ones. So his, his range is very, not challenging, but it's very, very artistic. He, he, he's, he, um, I'm gonna say you have not experienced these fragrances uh, before. So sometimes you smell something, it smells a little bit like this, or a little bit like that. The Toscovat range really are exceptional and quite unique in the way that he's created his compositions. These two here, a little bit more uh, straightforward. Straightforward, but not straight, but straightforward in a Toscovat kind of way. So it, one's a Shipra, which is the F2. F2 is a Shipra, F7 is a Fougere. So he's done a, a classic sort of f um, uh, uh, composition there. <laughs> but then he's given it his own Toscavat David twist. I, I'm going to say, everyone, look out for this young man. I think he's going to be something of a big deal within the game, uh, within the niche uh, world. Uh, I had a pleasure to meet with him. He's, he's a, a, a very, you can feel the energy from this man, very genuine soul. Uh, two awesome fragrances. And again, I'll be going into more detail with all things Toscavat. This is something that if you have a chance to, to experience these please i insist that you go and do all right next one reinvented this is a new brand that's come out from suspiro those who are familiar suspiro had come out in a very big way they've uh, basically grabbed the brand actually i bumped into christian provenzano i mean that was he, it was so funny because he had watched the episode where kevin and i said that he was a rock star perfumer anyway he came up to me and he says he goes i'm the rock star um, it was, it, that was a, another sort of classic, you know, priceless moment uh, during Exxon's. We took a photo together, super, I mean, for, a, for such a, I mean, this is like an Elvis Presley, okay? Um, for him to be so, I don't know, giving, so humble, so um, uh, approachable, uh, it, it, was, it was awesome. So, so what's happened is that Christian has done all the Suspiros. I don't know who the perfumer is for this. These are five new fragrances that have come out from the Sphero brand. Uh, the brand is called Reinvented, Reinvented. Now this one here, so this one, Sacred Bond. Now, it, it, I always love, Sandra's my, um, she's my gauge. I smelt this and I'm like, well, this is cool. I mean, it started off fruity and then it goes into a different place. It goes a bit woody and floral. Anyway, I came back from Exxon's, I was wearing this, and Sandra's like, you smell great, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, the next day, she put it on. Now, Sandra's off camera, so I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna get the, the sway of heads. She put it on, and she's like, oh, I don't like this. Oh, no, it's too fruity. Oh, I, this is not for me. Um, and I just thought, I, I've now learned with Sandra, just wait for the dry down. 
Anyway, deeper in the day, she's like, oh my gosh, oh my goodness, oh this fragrance, this perfume. So, so uh, the, I found that the, the whole collection was, was pretty exceptional. It brand new, I think like, I mean, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but I think like they're 10 days old. So they were literally launched at Excellence, but something pretty exciting from the Suspiro brand. So you know it's gonna be good quality, but this was another one that I'd like to flag. And the last one, even though it's not you, it's the first time we don't have this brand in Australia, who be gone? And this is Royal, Fougere Royale, Fougere Royale. So this is the classic, and I've got, I've got pigeons here. What the heck? Come on. Um, Fougere Royale, really beautiful. I'm so exciting. I'm so excited to actually be doing work uh, or oh, well, having this bottle, so, so I'll do a review on this and be able to experience one of the classics in niche perfumery and the start of all things Fougere. So, boom, bada bing, bing, boom, I'm done. I'm so hot in this leather jacket. <laughs> I feel like Ross, where he's wearing the leather pants. Oh my gosh. I mean, it was all right as we were riding, because we were riding around on the scooters, but in the sun here, man, I am cooking. Anyway, boom, that's the end of it. Thanks so much. It was an awesome tour. We've been traveling around um, all through Italy. I said Rome earlier, it's meant to be Italy. Connected with some really beautiful brands. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of really, really cool content coming out. Uh, like the Luca Maffei walking through AFM, uh, Mel Fushuni talking. We actually sat and, and, and delved with the raw ingredients, the, the raw notes. What does it mean to him? How does it translate it into a fragrance? There's even something brand new that I cannot tell you about, which will come out once I get Mel's uh, sort of blessing. So there's even an, something, wait, I won't take, but there's something else that we filmed there, so it's super exciting. Uh, with the boys team, we did another fragrance adventure through Florence. We did some exciting things with those guys. Uh, so there's, yeah, there's some really, actually in Paris Monte Carlo, uh, when it comes to, we, we sat down and, and went through their different brands. Paris Monte Carlo, I don't know if you guys know this, have the Houbigant brand, which I'm so excited because this is a brand that nearly got buried in the, the sands of time sort of thing. So that family, and it is still family owned. It's a family owned business. They've come in, they've bought Houbigant and actually are putting it back on the map. They've released some new fragrances in that collection. Really, really exceptional. Thanks everyone, hope you enjoyed that. Looking forward to being back in Melbourne and uh, being able to create some, uh, some further content on all of this. Don't forget, France Perfume Experience, this is something that is gonna be exceptional for those who love perfume, for those who love niche perfumery. You're gonna get a chance to really delve deeper and experience it, be submersed in this. Goodbye, I'm done. Oh, it's hot, baby. Oh my gosh, I'm cooking.